COVID-19 is creating a defining moment in Georgia. If we are going to emerge stronger, we have to reject false choices like 14% budget cuts across the board. Economic fears driving Georgia leaders to reopen shuttered businesses may put more lives at risk. And we can't unsee the disproportionate effects this crisis is having on black and brown rural and immigrant communities. Nor can we ignore the causal effects of systemic racism and bias and the fiscal policy choices that got us here. Sacrificing our students' education again and cutting beyond the bone critical services that we need is a false choice. For Georgia to be stronger, it requires a strong revenue base. With a shortfall looming, we cannot cut our way to prosperity. We have eroded our tax base. Today, we give away nearly $10 billion in tax breaks, and we fund per person 3% less than we did in 2008. We can raise revenues by increasing the tobacco tax, eliminating special interest tax breaks, loopholes in the tax code, and tax credit programs that do not work. We can reclaim billions today. And Georgia won't thrive if people don't survive. We have the third highest uninsured rate in the nation. Medicaid expansion is the most cost-effective way for us to bolster public health, and that is critical for our future. And economic security is key. Compared to their counterparts, black and brown workers have not fully recovered since the last recession. We must bolster the safety net and protect workers and ensure that we can all recover quickly together. We can emerge from this crisis, but make no mistake, we cannot go back to the status quo. It is flawed with inequity and does not foster an inclusive economy where everyone can participate and thrive. We need bold, fearless leaders who will look at the data, stare down inequity, and propose transformative solutions that will improve the lives of all Georgians. Where there is a will, there is a way, and we need a new way today.